Uh, hello, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, send an RTSP stream into um, the uh, Ignition Maker and display it in your application. So first of all, we need to get an RTSP stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one that's made by the the Jetson Xavier NX, and it runs a, a, a object recognition and classification software. And besides displaying it, it also um, uh, streams it out. So first of all, this is the application I'm going to use. And down here, you set. Uh, you can see where I set all the properties for streaming. This is the application. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to go ahead and start it. There. So now it's got a, It's got a. a it's uh, running through the model. It's uh, building it. It's building the engine right now. So once it gets done, it'll start uh, the application. Just take a second or two. As you can see, it's running an uh, object classification uh, and detection model right now. And it's running live. It's running like 30 frames a second. So that's pretty good. I've got this is running on my Xavier um, uh, NX. Uh, this will work on the Nano also, but I, I wanted some horsepower, so I moved over to my NX. So once we got this running, and you'll see up here, uh, this is the stream, the address of the stream up here. Once I find it, right there, that's the address of the stream. So besides doing this, it's also streaming up. Now we know move over to my development machine. This is the kind of the instructions we're gonna uh, follow. Now this was done by somebody in like March of 2013, but it, it works just perfectly. Like it's not the prettiest way to like get your your streaming in there, but it works. And this also works with the the, the webcam. So first of all, you go to media. You want to go down to stream. Um, we need to go to network. Like here, you can do capture device or network. If you want to do webcam, it would be capture device. There's the stream coming from the Xavier. Uh, NX, I told it's a stream. There's the source, and then I want HTTP. I want it to send out as HTTP, and then and then here, this is the profile I want, and then I'm gonna copy this code here. This he was nice enough to do all this code for us. Copy it and paste it into that block, and that's the the how the how I want it to be uh, streamed. So, just copy it and then paste it in there. Paste. And then stream. So now we're streaming the RSTP as HTTP. And then you can see here uh, it's showing that it is. Just to double check, I'm going to open it in a, a web page. And just localhost 8080, there it is, it's running live, 30 frames a second. So now that we've got this all done, we're going to open up uh, uh, the designer and go ahead and put the, the video player in here. So what we do is I, I got a little application already here just because I was messing around. So we'll go to the components, get the video player, and then what we're going to do is, like I say, uh, uh, VLC has converted it from RSTP to HTTP, so that's all we needed. So once we get this in, we go to the properties. Okay, I'm on properties. And click on that, and we want a live feed that to be true. And our source, we just want it to be, you can put local local host in there 8080 but you want to put the IP address in there because we're gonna we're gonna this is gonna be deployed uh, as like a, a, a ignition application so we need the IP address for the for the deployed applications to find the stream so what we'll do is we'll go here we need to get 192.168.16 we need to put that in there and then uh, let's do that. Just type that in up here in the source. Let's close that out. Uh, 192, oh, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.6. .1 .1 
colon 8080. Once we do that, if you do it correctly, the, the stream should show up in the, 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 the application over here on the left in the designer. See, it shows up. It's running live. So that's cool. We got that going. So now we're going to save the project and export it. And then we're going to move back over to the Xavier NX. So we move back over to the Xavier NX. You can still see the, the Xavier's putting out this stream. On this, so we close that out. We go to our view projects and get the project. View project. Then we go to launch project. And then as you can see, there it is. So, you know, I included the, the gauge up here and this to sh just to show you that, that you can do a lot of things. You can have buttons here, all kinds of things. And then I'm going to put a 40 in there and it'll change it. But I'm saying it's like the this video player was one part of the a whole thing you can do. And then also, uh, just to show this, I'm actually, uh, since, uh, you know, I, I'm doing, it's also, this application is running on my phone also. So that's me, my fat self out there. And this is just showing, you see, you see it takes me as a person. And like I say, this is running at 30 frames a second. And it sees the cars, me as a person. And then I was going to show you that it's running on my phone also at the same time. I can get in there. As you can see, it's it's running on the phone, you know, and it's running just as fast. You know, there's no lag in that at all. It's running 30 frames a second, also. So that's pretty cool. Like I say, the video player is just one part of many things you can build with the the, the Ignition uh, Maker Edition. So, and it's all free. So, you know, and now that you can stream a uh, uh, Deep stream, you know, what more do you want? All right, thank you. Bye.